2022 has been a busy year for space exploration and discovery. Thanks to a variety of exciting missions, we have been able to see the cosmos like never before. But it was also a challenging year for many people around the globe. As each month passed by, it became clear that a return to normality wasn't on the horizon. But above our heads, incredible things were still being achieved. The ever stronger urge for knowledge beyond our planet continued to persevere. So as the year draws to a close, let's look back at the biggest space discoveries and breakthroughs of 2022. In March 2022, NASA announced that they had reached a cosmic milestone by confirming the existence of over 5,000 exoplanets. Planets that orbit the stars beyond our solar system, and since then that number has gone up even more. By using powerful telescopes in space and on the ground, astronomers have categorised the exoplanets into five different types. 1,818 of them are Neptune-like. These are worlds similar in size to Neptune or Uranus and can be ice giants or much warmer. However, warm Neptunes are far rarer. 1,594 are classed as super-Earths, an exotic planet unlike any other in our solar system. These mysterious worlds are far more massive than Earth, yet lighter than planets such as Neptune and they can be made of gas, rock, or a combination of both. 1,618 are gas giants, enormous planets similar to Jupiter or Saturn. Many of these hellish worlds have even been discovered to be hotter than some stars. Whereas only 192 are classed as terrestrial, worlds that are rocky with iron-rich cores like Mercury, Venus, Earth, or Mars. And finally, although still classed as confirmed, there are five in the unknown category. Incredible as it is to think that each one of the 5,227 exoplanets confirmed so far is another planet waiting to be studied, it is even more incredible to think that we have only just scraped the surface. Our galaxy likely holds hundreds of billions of such planets. And that's not to mention the exoplanets that exist within the billions of other galaxies scattered throughout the universe. In April 2022, a team of scientists announced that they had discovered the largest comet ever seen. By using the Hubble Space Telescope, they determined that comet Bernardinelli Bernstein has a nucleus about 50 times larger than the average known comet. This image may look like a bright dot, but it is actually an enormous ball of ice, dust and rock that stretches some 85 miles across, which is about 137 kilometers across. It is more than 10 times the size of the meteorite believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs more than 65 million years ago. Currently, Comet Bernardinelli-Bernstein is inbound from the Oort Cloud, a distant region of the solar system thought to contain billions, possibly even trillions of icy objects. The comet will make its closest approach to Earth in 2031, when it will come within about 1 billion miles or 1.6 billion kilometers of the Sun. It won't likely be visible to the unaided eye, but astronomers will be keeping a close watch, as it's turning out to be a rather extraordinary object. In May 2022, astronomers released the first ever image of the supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way, called Sagittarius A-star. This incredible image is the first ever direct visual evidence of the elusive object. As before now, scientists had only seen stars orbiting around something invisible, compact and very massive, as this incredible time-lapse shows. Because the black hole is so far away from Earth, around 26,000 light-years away, it appears to us to be about the same size in the sky as a donut on the moon. But in reality, it is roughly the size of Mercury's orbit around our star, about 60 million kilometers, or about 40 million miles across. To image it, the team created the powerful Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, which linked together eight existing radio observatories across the planet to form a single Earth-sized virtual telescope. 
The EHT observed Sagittarius A star on multiple nights, collecting data for many hours in a row, similar to using a long exposure time on a camera. Although we cannot see the black hole itself, glowing gas around it reveals a dark central region called a shadow, surrounded by a bright ring-like structure. The new view captures light bent by the powerful gravity of the black hole, which is 4 million times more massive than our Sun. In July 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope's first images were released, beginning a new era in astronomy. The most powerful observatory ever to be sent into space showed us the cosmos like never before, such as with this image, which gave us the deepest, most detailed infrared view of the universe yet. At the center, a bright cluster of galaxies magnifies the light of stars more than 13 billion light years away, while thousands of younger galaxies cartwheel through the background. Or this image of the Carina Nebula, a region lit up and sculpted by the radiation of baby stars, located about 7,600 light years from Earth. Or the magnificent views of the Southern Ring Nebula, a gargantuan cloud of gas and dust expelled by a dying star some 2,500 light years away. A few months later, we even got a ghostly glimpse of Neptune, revealing its five icy rings of dust that are rarely visible from Earth. Aside from incredible, crisp images of star-forming regions, stellar death, planets and galaxy mergers, JWST also returned breakthrough science on an exoplanet, revealing carbon dioxide in WASP-39b's atmosphere and signatures of other molecules and chemicals. The James Webb Space Telescope captured the mystery and beauty of the cosmos in image after stunning image. In September 2022, NASA successfully carried out a mission to change the path of an asteroid. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test, better known as DART, used a spacecraft to smash into Dimorthus, a space rock about the size of a football stadium that for millions of years has orbited a larger asteroid. The carefully orchestrated impact displaced over 2 million pounds or 1 million kilograms of dusty rock into space, enough to fill 6 or 7 rail cars, as seen in these incredible images. NASA's goal was to knock Dimorthus slightly closer to its partner, shortening its orbital period and demonstrating a strategy for preventing real threats, should a future Earth-bound asteroid be detected. Two weeks after the impact, scientists using ground-based telescopes studied the small asteroid's orbit and confirmed that its nearly 12-hour orbit had shortened by 32 minutes a change more than 26 times larger than NASA had set as its goal. There are currently no known asteroids on an impact course with our planet. However, scientists are tracking tens of thousands of large objects in the solar system. It is also estimated that there could be around 15,000 large asteroids waiting to be discovered. In October 2022, China launched the last piece of its space station to complete its Low Earth Orbiting Laboratory, a place where scientists will conduct research in microgravity, similar to the astronauts in the International Space Station. Called the Tiangong Space Station, the Chinese space program plans for it to last for 10 to 15 years, with the possibility of extending its lifespan. The significant accomplishment is just one piece of China's rapidly growing space program, which plans to build a base on the moon, deploy a lunar rover, and send new landers and orbiters to Mars. It's also the first long-term neighbor the International Space Station has had since Russia's Mir station was deorbited in 2001. China has now accomplished what Russia and the US did a few decades ago, and it did it quickly, on its own, with some improvements over previous designs. In November 2022, the first stage of NASA's Artemis I mission began. NASA's Space Launch System rocket successfully took an uncrewed Orion spacecraft around the moon and back again in an effort to test the Orion module, the SLS rocket as well as ground systems, laying the foundation for future missions within the Artemis program. 
As the Orion spacecraft travelled around the moon, it captured some beautiful images of the moon's cratered surface and our home planet, as can be seen in these stunning images. The Orion capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on December 11th, bringing a successful end to the Artemis 1 mission after a monumental 1.4 million mile or 2.3 million kilometer flight. Amazingly, it has been half a century since Apollo 17 astronaut Eugene Kernan last walked on the moon back in 1972, a journey that was achieved with less computing power than what we have in our mobile phones today. Next, Artemis II will begin the first crewed test flights of the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft in 2024, and then, possibly by 2025, we could see new astronauts walk once again in the lunar dust and this time in much greater detail. 2022 once again didn't disappoint when it comes to space exploration, and I, for one, cannot wait to find out what we will discover in 2023. Thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you that have supported my channel throughout the last year with likes and comments, and a big thank you to all my V101 members and patrons. I hope you have a brilliant new year and I'll see you all on the next video.